Okay, today we have uh, two power supply boards. Uh, both of these boards are from a, a Samsung Plasma, um, probably made back in, I don't know, 2007, 2008. Uh, excellent TV. Uh, they had two, uh, pretty much two sizes that I know of offhand, which were the most popular. Uh, that was the 42 inch and the 50 inch, okay. And uh, basically what happens with those sets is pretty much the same. Uh, they'll stop working, all you hear is a click. Or you hear a uh, continuous click, you know, click, 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 but TV never comes on. Or like I said, it just clicks once and, and that's it. Um, so uh, to, to the board to my left here, is, or to your left, or is a 50 inch, uh, it's actually H, uh, H. The model number is HPT uh, 50, 50, 50, 44. There's also a 54, uh, 50, 54 version, a 50, 34, and a 50, 50, 64, I believe. And same with the board to my right. Uh, as you can see, uh, it is marked on the little heat sink. It's a uh, HPT uh, 4264, and there's also a 4244, 54, etc. And as you can see, both boards are just very similar, about the same. Okay, and uh, I just want to show you guys right quick. If, if you do have this problem, uh, the first thing that you want to check, uh, besides swollen caps, which uh, usually you know you very have, you have very, very seldom we have any swollen caps on this Samsung Plasma power supply board is um right here okay uh, this middle row right here with these two um, fets and the two smaller ones I guess those are fets also um, it's first of all check these two smaller ones okay because uh, most likely Flip it around. Should have circled it for you, but um, they're right here. If I can zoom in on that. Okay, I did circle those. Um, two MOSFETs. Um, they are definitely short. Okay, now what you actually do want to check uh, on these sets that's another problem um, are the two big uh, MOSFETs that were right next to it on the same heat sink. And um, these are located right here. Okay, you see the three pins, the two, two pins, the two uh, pins have rivets and the one doesn't. Uh, make sure you check those. Okay, those seem to be okay. But they will tend to get bad solder connections, especially on these little pins right here. There's a little pin that's not in the rivet. Uh, they'll get bad solder connections, and that'll cause you an intermittent uh, picture or power problem. So that's the first thing you want to check. And uh, the reason that I brought this other board, uh, and also check around here, check your uh, resistors, make sure you service my resistors, make sure they aren't burnt. It actually looks like this TV, uh, this particular board was worked on before. Uh, as you can see, some stuff up here. Um, a little transistor here. A little fat. That checks short. Uh, but that's probably because these two are shorted. So we're going to move one of these one at a time first and check those. Um, but this, on the other hand, it's another board from a totally different TV. Uh, 50 inch. Like I said, basically, these are the same board. Um, as you can see, on this one, there those same exact MOSFETs okay actually blew open <laughs> okay <laughs> so look at that all right that one blew open and that one blew open and so that's another thing you want to look for for on these boards like I said first the MOSFETs on this heat sink right here check bad solder connections uh, check back solder connections on all the MOSFETs in the on these heat sinks, and uh, definitely check these two uh, for shorts or an open. 
and I'm not even going to read those because it doesn't make a difference because those are those are blown wide open as you can see so this is nothing to do to replace those okay uh, there is a kit um, that I bought off of shop Jimmy um, right here uh, BN 44-00616 um, 00161A okay uh, that is for this board I believe this board has the same number here same part number 50 inch where are you part number yep zero zero actually this is a zero actually this 50 inch is a zero zero one sixty two a um, but I'm pretty sure it uses mostly the same parts you can see the boards are almost identical pretty much uh, let's see here yep exactly identical as far as I can see as far as the eyes can see okay we got the plug here plug here plug here plug here AC plug of course and then uh, one two three plugs there one two th one two three plugs down here at the bottom okay one two three uh, so uh, let's see we're gonna replace those um, uh, does come to the uh, location number of those ICs are QX801 and QX802 okay which I do have here uh, it does come with the kit and I already took the uh, MOSFETs out here they are right here um, and let's see if I can get a part number on these new ones. Um, sh looks like a FQPF 9N50CF. Right. FQPF 9N50CF. And then N stands for, um, uh, it's an N channel MOSFET, uh, about 500 volts. The 50, what is the, the, the uh, 50 stands for, and I guess 9 amps or something like that for the 9. Um, so, uh, if you got those anything close, you can try to replace those. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace those, and uh, and one of the boards here. We're gonna see what happens. Okay, now I did remove those fets um, off of the uh, board there. That's for the 42 inch board uh, located here. Uh, yes, those are already short. I went back to the trace. Um, Like the short is gone off the trace, but uh, as I went back to these little transistors here, or I think those these are actually rectifiers, um, I'm still getting a short on that one and on this one off the other FET. It's still reading short. Okay, uh, so once again, like I was saying, uh, somebody did have a, a solder short on here. Uh, I guess they were trying to fix it, and I don't know. The customers, you know, they never tell you anything, you know, if they had anybody working on it or anybody else working on it or what, whatever. But I can tell these transistors were, were replaced, and it, did, and it did do also see, look, look what they did here. I did not do that. They tried to replace this transistor here, but of course, it's still reading a short there, so. Okay. Phone never rings until I start making a video, right? Okay. And this transistor over here also is reading um, short. Okay. But if I go to the other board. Same transistor. Here. That of course is not reading short and neither is this one. Okay? See that? All right. No shorts. 
Okay. Now that looks like um, if I can see there, um, the one to the right is a DX03. It is marked. And this other one uh, looks like um, could be a ZDX802 or a DX804, I'm not sure. It must be DX804 because the way it's going up here. Uh, see, one, two, three, four, so, uh, one, two, three, I mean, so, one, two, these are both resistors, and that must be DX804, uh, and like I said, the one over here is uh, DX803. Uh, so that does come in our kit, actually. I just seen it. Uh, this is the QX801 and 802. I just pulled that out of there, right? And then, the, let's see, I just seen that. Here we go. DX803 and uh, DX804. Uh, uh, and with a few other components here, these are all transistors, surface mount transistors, as you can see. Or uh, they're rectifier diodes. They're DX, so every day that those are diodes for rectifying some type of voltage. Um, so, uh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put. I'm doing the one that's, that doesn't have any shorts. I'm going to put these uh, resistors in. And another thing I want to show you is look at this. Let's see about the bad connections. Look at that. So, most likely, that's what happens with these sets is the TV will actually play and cut off and play sometimes and cut off. It's because these has bad connections. And what happens is it just gets worse. Uh, it starts arcing and then it'll, it'll, it will eventually destroy other components or itself okay and I remember this is the one I showed you that was actually blown apart in half okay and as you can see right here we're also starting to get some bad connections on this one okay I'm just going to place those and uh, I didn't find anything else shorted around there I did see a couple solar capacitors uh, when I first got this board on uh, I replaced those and after replacing those I um, found out <laughs> I actually looked again that's why they say use your senses I actually looked again and see those and seeing those MOSFETs blown apart okay so these are a couple capacitors here I replaced, like you see the lead, so I just cut those off. Remind myself to cut those off later. Okay, uh, we did replace our uh, two MOSFETs here. Okay, one, two. Uh, everything else on this board uh, checks pretty good. Uh, this is a 50 inch board. Um, also a reminder, but another thing to check is to make sure that this, uh, let's see, i scoot this over a little bit. I'll just move this over a little bit. Okay, there is a fuse, okay, right here, uh, behind that, on the hot side. You can see all this is on the hot side of the ground, okay. Um, cold side is that way with your BCS, uh, BS plug, and your VA, and uh, the plug coming from the main board, and also the digital board. But uh, check this out. That seems to be okay. And if you want to check for, short, if it is blown, uh, actually do check for a short going from one side to the negative side of the, of the 50 capacitor and then you know and then try this side again okay uh, you, have to, you have to do that you have to, you have to flip, flip the board over and do that okay so this fuse is good okay and there's also another fuse uh, located right here a little pico fuse like uh, don't forget to check that one in case you replace some stuff and the TV still, still is not coming on with no standby. Uh, make sure you check that fuse also. And there's, of course, is the AC fuse, okay? So that one is also good, okay? All right. So now we're going to do, because since we don't have the entire TV here, um, I'm just going to, I just want to plug it in. Now, this is it. This is a three-prong prong plug. Um, so what I did is I just used a two-prong right here. Uh, plug and I'm actually going to connect uh, If you notice on these sets when you do put it back in the board They do have a wire that, that screws in right here. So I'm just going to connect that one uh, like so Okay Just going to make sure that's in there nice and sturdy and touching Okay, and um, let's see if we can see this here uh, I don't want to do this uh, Let's see if we can catch this on the camera I can zoom in we're going to go to our standby voltages at the bottom here on this plug these are our standby, these are connectors going to the actual main board. And um, we'll zoom out and zoom in so you can see that. Right there on the bottom on the secondary side or cold side of the ground. 
okay and we also have our connections going for to the sustain boards here with our VS and VA but we're gonna concentrate right here because in order for us to get that we're gonna have to have our standby voltage first and once we have that uh, we're, we're in pretty much decent shape to uh, have uh, pretty enough enough confidence to go back to the customer's house and um, install the board with confidence knowing that uh, hopefully <laughs> everything else will work uh, but it will it should at least you know fire up or whatever so we want to check here is going to check our um, Right, naturally where it says STB our standby here and uh, if that one's good there's also a standby here as you can see standby should be approximately five volts on these sets uh, so what I'm gonna do is just ground my meter right here on this ground here okay some kind of way I'm gonna get it, get it click as a matter of fact it was my little lead here I'll use that if I can find it just had it in my hand oh, right here on the floor okay Put that to uh, cold ground, secondary side of our transformers. Okay, and put our meter on voltage. Let's zoom out so you can see my meter here. better okay it might be a little better and I'm gonna plug my TV in my board actually into in okay didn't see anything smoke so that's a good sign right and I'm gonna go to this one that says STB standby okay and I should have approximately five volts 4.9 5.2 something there right there we go 5.1 volts and this other one that says standby also it's the second pin on this other plug here, it says STB 5.1. It's not fluctuating, it's not bouncing, it's steady. So that should do it. We'll just go out to our customer's house and install that board, and uh, everything should be good to go. So I uh, just want to give you an idea on these boards here. Uh, I know some of them can cause a lot of problems, but if you do, like I said, have this set. I'll try to show a picture of this set uh, if in the beginning or the end of this video or during the video. Um, but um, clicking noise, click, 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 trying to come on, or it just clicks one time, doesn't come on, or it clicks repeatedly, click, 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 or just pauses, you know, uh, most likely, or, or just have a dead set period, it's not coming on, there's, there's no clicking, nothing, um, just totally dead. Of course, if that's the case, usually what happens is this fuse will just blow the AC fuse. Uh, like I said, make, and, do, and then also double check these FETs on each one of these heat sinks. But this heat sink right here is the main one uh, that you want to check. Make sure I got my plug here, okay. Ah. This little second skinny heat sink right here uh, with the two small MOSFETs and the two bigger ones. Uh, definitely make sure you check all these for shorts. Make sure it's not blowing apart and do uh, definitely check up under there and if you do have some shorts uh, make sure these resistors are not burnt open and in most cases those, these surface mount resistors you can actually see them with a burn on them if they are burnt open um, if they are damaged they actually look damaged physically you have to put on your magnifying glasses and just take a closer look all right guys well uh, thanks for watching uh, please make sure you subscribe uh, god bless and uh, big dog out